Hi everyone, my name is Liz. And today in this video, I will be showing you how I make my bath bomb cupcakes, my mini ones, and they are going to be Fruit Loops, scent Fruit Loops scented. So if you wanna check out the video, come follow me. So I have my dry ingredients and I have my wet ingredients. I will add the recipe down in the description. But the base, I want to make it this neon yellow, and of course I ran out of this, so I, but I do have more. And there we go. So that's going to be the bottom. Just going to mix it in here real good. What I'm gonna do is, because it's harder to mix like this, I am gonna transfer this into the um, bowl, into this bowl right here. So when everything gets incorporated, as you can see the bottom, never mixes in well. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. And then let's add the rest of this. going to make the embeds. So for the embeds, I'm going to make them with four colors. So I'm going to take my little jar right here, my little pitcher. I'm going to add here, have the alcohol. I'm going to take my spoon. I'm going to start with the purple. I'm just going to add a little bit of purple here. This is neon purple from Mad Micah's Grape Ape. In a second, so that's a great babe from Mad Micah's. I'm gonna mix that in there, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add here some of that white. Oops, you know what? I forgot, I forgot to add the fragrance. I forgot to add the fragrance, so let's add the fragrance real quick, and then well, let's go ahead. Let's add here the purple. So we're gonna have purple, we're gonna have green, we're gonna have orange and yellow. Colors of the fruit loops. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a pipette. I'm literally just gonna add it here like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this one out for now. I'm just going to go ahead and mix it in and add that in there. Okay, so now we got
All you need for the frosting is basically three ingredients. So the first ingredient that we're gonna need is baking soda. The second ingredient we're gonna use is cocoa betaine, which is bubble up. And the third ingredient we're gonna use is a pinch of SLSA. And of course, I am going to add the Fruit Loops fragrance. So let's start doing it. Okay, so for the baking soda, we are going to be using, and I'm probably gonna have to do two batches of this, uh, but in any event, I'm gonna show you how it's done. Okay, so for this recipe, we're going to be using baking soda. So it's basically one and a half cups of baking soda. one cup and then and that's my half cup okay and then the second ingredient we're going to be using is the cocoa betaine and for that we're going to be using a third of a cup of that But not least, we're going to use a pinch of the SLSA. So I'm literally going to grab the smallest, which is a fourth of a teaspoon, and literally add just one pinch of that in there. That's that. Set that to the side. I'm gonna add a little bit of fragrance. So I'm gonna grab a pipe pet. And I'm gonna keep it white because I am going to add the Fruit Loops embeds. So um, that's gonna be very colorful. And if I make this colorful, then it's gonna take away from that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my mixer, just like that. and let's start mixing. It is definitely the texture that I'm looking for. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab this, put it in my piping bag. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys over to this side now. So this way you can see what I'm doing right there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so beautiful. This is what I'm looking for. Then when you do these, you have to let it dry fully and harden for about three days. You definitely do not want to ship it before three days. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to grab my press and seal. how sometimes some dry particles stay on the bottom. That's not gonna be a problem because when I pipe it, it's just gonna incorporate all together. And grab this on both ends and do this. 
have a parking bag. Okay, and now I'm gonna bring you over here and show you guys how I do these. I also made the embeds. So I made green, I made purple and yellow, and I also made orange. All right, so it's gonna be nice and colorful. Let's go ahead and start piping. So a dollop in the middle, just like this. Or maybe I should bring the camera in closer so you guys could see. So let's bring that in a little closer. Just like that. Okay, you guys can get a better view like this. And here we go. And like that. So I'm just gonna do them all first. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab my embeds. So I'm gonna take them out. Of the mold, look how, oh my God, they look so realistic. Check it out, so nice. Now each one is gonna have all colors. So I have here eight, I'm gonna take eight out over here. Eight, eight green. I also did um, make the spoons as well. And I don't know if this is gonna be too small to put the spoons, so I may or may not put these spoons in there. But let me just take one out to show you guys what it looks like. God, this looks so real. Look at the spoon, how nice. Get close up there. So I may or may not use it, because I'm debating if I also make a cold process soap in Fruit Loops. I may do that, but we'll see. We'll see how I can arrange it so that everything can fit in there. Now the mold only makes six of these, so I have to make two more for that one right there. About a total of 30, because I have 30 of them. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to start by placing one on the top. I'm just gonna alternate here. Okay, as you can see, I have to be working with it very carefully. Now, spoon. This is the challenge. Uh, let's see. Maybe if I put it like, maybe if I put it down like this, where it's kind of like standing up, that would work. Uh, let's see. Something like that. What do you guys think? Check it out. Check it out, guys. That is a bath bomb. Bath bomb. How awesome is that? So that's what I'm gonna do then for all of them. I think that they look really, really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all of these to, oh, this is so nice. And it smells so amazing.
there, just put it in there, just like that. Okay, so I just gotta, get, I gotta make more of these, but there you have it, guys. Again, look at these cute little bath bombs, guys. So amazing, so cool, smells amazing, and it's very easy to make, guys. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please, if you like this content, please follow or subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I am going to try to make more videos, guys. So I will see you soon. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye now. And I am going to do a demo. I decided to keep one because I ran out of the orange and the... Um, spoon so i was like i'm not just gonna melt soap just to make those two things so that's it i said let me just uh go ahead and do a demo on this so again the bath the bottom part is a bath bomb the top part is a foaming bath so you will see now it performs so let me just turn my camera this way okay so now for the moment of truth and by the way these are little miniature soaps, so obviously you could keep those and use them as soaps. <clears throat> so here we go.